Today, I'm going to talk to you about what I believe is the single biggest issue that affects small business owners, entrepreneurs, sole proprietors, people like uh, like me, and I'm assuming people like most of you that are watching this. And um, that problem involves, you know, getting your time managed and figuring out what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and when you're going to do it. And that problem isn't Facebook. It's one of the symptoms, it's part of it. What I would narrow it down to one word, and that word is focus. When you're working for yourself or it's just a couple of people in a company and you've got to figure out what do you have to do, what's going on, what's the priority, it's so easy to get distracted by your own pet projects, get distracted by you know, your idea of the moment. You know, we're all idea people, we come up, oh, this would be a great thing, I could do an app that does this, or a website that does this, or a business that does this, something like that. And it's really easy to lose that focus. And so, um, you know, for a while there, I had a whiteboard, and on the whiteboard, I just had written the word focus to try and remind me of that. And at this point, I think I've got that down. So I don't need to worry about that so much. But what I do to help me focus and help me stay on track is I make lists and I check off as I do things. Uh, lists are a great way to keep you on track, a great way to give you a feeling of accomplishment. Um, you know, I, I don't remember who it was, what the story was, but there's talking about um, what people can do to, uh, you know, keep on track and, um, you know, start the day right. And they say that's why people make their bed in the morning. Because think about that. Let's say you had a checklist and your checklist was, you know, first, number one, make my bed. Number two, um, call this customer. Number three, finish this project. It's like, those are some really hard things to do. But your number one, make your bed. That's easy. So you start your day with an accomplishment. You check something off and you've at least made progress before you've gotten to work. And it could be, you know, other, another thing in the morning might be, you know, go for a, a five mile run or a 20 mile bike ride or a two mile walk or something like that. Do push ups. So you've got some personal things in there that are not insurmountable that aren't dependent on oh well the customer didn't call me back or I ran into a problem and there's a bug here and I can't finish this and this thing broke or whatever so you can get started with some really good nice successes so whether you make the list on a piece of paper um, I like to use my phone I've got you know I use the uh, the to-do list thing on the phone the um, I can't even remember what the app is called that Apple has um, I've got an app on my iPad that helped me keep track of projects and things that need to be done for them that I use for more long-term global things. But uh, you, you, you got to have some way of maintaining focus and staying on track. Um, and sometimes part of that is taking a few minutes to relax a little bit and take a breath. So for me, that is my drive to work because my drive to work is along the ocean and I can watch the ocean while I drive and so I don't know if you've been hearing in the background but this is what I've been um, driving next to and watching and seeing and stuff like that so I'm parked along the side of the road now but you can see it's a really nice view you can hear the waves crashing and it's it can be relaxing just sort of if you're stressed out you can come here I can walk here from work right now I'm about uh, three blocks from my office but it's a really you know nice calm serene place um, you know you may not be there by a beach maybe you are you know in the mountains or the desert and there's some other place you can go whether it be a hilltop to watch nature you know who knows you know I don't, everybody's different um, for a while there, going for a drive was my calming thing. I would uh, take my Corvette and I would drive up that hill along the coast road. And I would go all the way along up to the top. It's uh, about a thousand feet elevation, you get to the top up there. 
and um, nice view of the city. So I would just drive up there and then drive back and then head off to work. Um, that's when I had a job that I was working the second shift. So I was showing up at work at uh, 2 p.m. to start my day. And so I'd have lunch, I'd go up there for the drive and I'd go to work. So I will leave you with some waves crashing.